I'll review a few functional approaches that are available in Python to list operations and data frames. So I'm going to talk about map, filter, reduce, and apply. And you'll start to see a commonality among these, um, hopefully. The first operation that we're going to look at is called map. The idea is um, we could have a list of items. And if I wanted to square each element in the list, I would uh, write a for loop that looks like this. I'm going to take for every element in that list of items. I'm going to append the squared value to that new list. So that might look something like this when I run it. I'm going to create the list, and I'm going to square all the items, and I get, I get back uh, the squared values. All right. So uh, alternatively, I could write this, what I, what's called a helper function. So the helper function is basically going to be the thing that I apply to every element in the list. So I'm defining the, the square. The utility of the map function here is I'm going to apply this function to every element in that list. And so what I get back is called a generator. And if I wanted to see all the elements of that generator as a list, I would just wrap it in a, the list command, and then I get back all the elements. So this may look strange to you, but there are reasons why we'd want to apply this helper functionality uh, elsewhere in Python. So it's not too obvious as to why this is useful. Uh, this is much more understandable in this context. The challenge is that this uh, for loop is going to operate uh, sequentially. So it's going to iterate through all the elements uh, of the list, all the iterations of the loop, and that will be serial. So we'll come back to why map is uh, sometimes useful in a big data context. All right, so I'm going to continue on. The rest of these functions hopefully will start to look sort of like similar. So I'm going to take, again, a list of items. And suppose that I only wanted the values that were even. In that case, I would write a for loop that looks like, uh, for every element in the list, uh, divide that value by 2 and see if the remainder is 0. That's called the modulo operation. If the remainder of the operation when I divide by 2 is 0, that means that the value is even. And therefore, we're going to keep that value. We're going to put it in this result list. So when I run that, I get the result where originally I started out with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now I'm getting back just the even values. Again, we could create a helper function. Here I'm going to call the helper function even that returns either a true or false value um, based on the value. So I'm going to pass in a 0, or 1, or 2, or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I'll get back a bunch of true and false entries um, from that helper function for each element. So the filter function, again, it's going to return uh, a list of all the even values because it's applying this function to every element in that and it's going to be looking for either true or false values. That's different from the map function, where it was applying the operation to each element of the list, and then just storing the result. So that's the difference between map and filter. Filter is expecting back that the helper function returns either a true or false value. All right. <coughs> the third tool that we'll look at is called the reduce. This one was in Python 2, but was removed um, from Python 3 and placed in a module called func tools, short for function tools. Um, and the, the idea here is we have a list and we want to uh, apply some operation across all the elements in that list. So for instance, here I'm going to multiply every element. I'm going to basically uh, take these elements and multiply each one of them. So I'm going to multiply 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And in the end, what that's going to yield is 24. So similarly, I could, uh, again, apply this helper function, which is going to return the multiplied values, and it gets back the same thing. So it's just applying an operation across all the elements of that uh, list. 
And the fourth one is called apply. That's specific to pandas. Uh, so we'll do a quick example of the apply function. Um, I'm going to have to create a data frame here. So I'm creating uh, a small dictionary with the basically columns of height and width. And then I have a list of dictionaries, and that is able to be constructed into a data frame. So here that height and width column has three rows of data. So I've got my data frame. Now I want to uh, do a calculation to get the area from each of these rows. So I'm going to create a function, and I'm going to apply that function to each row in the data frame. So that's axis equals 1. So basically, it's going to take 40 times 10 and get a value back. That's 400. It's going to apply 20 times 9 and get back 180. Then 3.4 times 4 to get 13.6. So you'll hear, see here that the apply operation returned a series. So this series is the same number of rows as well from the data frame, but it's separate from the data frame. So if we wanted to take that series result and make it a new column in the data frame, what we would just do is save the result to a new column in the data frame. So here's what that looks like. We've got, again, we're taking the original data frame, we're applying this function to every row, and we get back the rows of a new column that we're going to call area. All right, as a surprise for all of you who have made it this far in the video, we're going to look at one more operation. It's a combination of things that we've looked at already. It's called apply map. The idea here in pandas is we're going to take a function and kind of along the lines of apply, we will apply it to all the elements in the data frame. But along the lines of map, we're going to do it to every element in the data frame. So we're applying this add one function, which just adds one to each of the existing elements in the data frame. So again, here's, we had 40 and 10 and 400, and now we've just added one to all those elements in the row, and we can do the same thing for all the other elements in all the other rows.